Thank you for the one year, man. Mr. Jack G. Can be used with the Prime Sub open. Where's your fisting, by the way? I guess normal speed for now. No borderless. All right, the rest should be good, yeah? What the fuck, hello? God. Unlock it. Up in Coomer. <laughs> Story difficult. Negotiation, bro. You want to start a game at introduction. This difficult level provides an introduction for players who are new to deck builders. Experienced player may wish to start at level one for a more balanced challenge. Level one. Wait, so this is a story game? Or what? You escaped a life of indentured labor by hunting criminals and debt dodgers. The work has earned you your freedom, if not any friends. Now, you're back home, for the first time in 10 years. But freedom comes with its own dangers, and making a living in Haveria won't be easy. Here, the gangs are feral, the law enforcement are corrupt, and the people are treated like chattel, indebted to merciless criminals. Criminals like Cassio. The ruthless debt broker who sold you to the Derricks in the first place. But now, Cassio's grip has weakened, and there's a bounty on her head too rich to ignore. You'll die before you go into debt again, and so will she, if you have your say. Your first stop is a dive called the Grog and Dog, where an old friend will help you get your revenge. Provided you can prove yourself. First sniff, the grog and dog smells like stale hops and dried blood. The talk of that. Guess you put that. Furries? She doesn't even have fur, it's a frog. The fuck? Enough is enough. What's up, eh? Yeah. Sana Bosso. Capiosa. Tia Sopa. That's your name. Psh. Psh. All right. You are here. Is a vendor. Pick a card to help on the quest. Okay. Oh, 
want to buy a car from this guy. Can chess Hannah? Sakika sa. Ana so buku. Lacy. Tu kusi showa. Taki pilshi. Sunapota. She's a debt dodger. A tax evader. Lasky wants you to track down and capture Kelkam, but has been cagey about the details. Alright. Pick a card! Any card! Ability, any attack cards you improvise, deal 3 bonus damage until played, expend. Spend 2 combo, this card deals max damage and cost 1 less, finisher. Attack 2 random enemies. Clearly the best one. Uncommon. This one is uncommon. Improvise. Choose one of three cards put into your hand. Choose one of three cards put into your hand. Okay. I take this one. I accept your offer. So, uh, meme. Kyona pia pa. Gota tell. Totianata. Panapuhu. Hand on over to Slurping Snail. Words. Kilka likes the taste of Oshinu Bile. Bro, I don't know these words. Uh, cards for sale. I don't have any money. I have $75. Do I buy a card? Gain two influence. Destroy after two use. Uh, 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 this one. I buy this one. Pot of greed. Is that what it does? Draw three cards. Destroy after one use. Buy cards. No, we're done here, man. All right. Later. Uh. Come across a lone merchant, a rare sight on Havarian roads. Usually they smart enough to travel with armed security. Hello, Frozen. 11 a.m. blind. Could you pass or read the set? Sell it this so I can understand what's going on. Motherfucker, you're lazy, alright? I have fucking tooth pain, alright? I'm trying to not read all these fucking. Half of these words, I don't even know what they mean. Hello, men's clothing is rich, and rich clothing has deep pockets. And the road are deserted, except for you and your new friend. Demand their money. Uh. Yeah, sure. Give me all your money. She hates me. You incurred her fury and will likely face the consequences. Reason, you robbed them. Bane. Bad credit. Buying anything from shopkeepers costs an additional 20 shields. Let me give you half of what I have. We can both walk away happy. Really? Demand everything. Wait, she has more resolve than me. I will. Does that mean I will lose? Beat it out of them. Give me all your money. Audacity. Battle tutorial. You're about to fight for the first time. Would you like to see a quick tutorial? You can review it at any time from the past menu. Yes. At the start of each turn, you draw five cards from the draw pile. Five. And gain three actions. Three each mana. Each card costs a certain number of actions to play. At the end of your turn, the cards in your hand are moved to your discard pile. Classic. You can win a battle by killing all of your opponents, or by making them surrender. Enemies will surrender when their health dips below their panic threshold. Killing enemies may have diplomatic consequences. Aha, uh -huh, so it's Undertale. 
with Slade Spire. Certain cards apply defense, which mitigates incoming damage. Defense can be applied to yourself or your allies and lasts for one turn. You can preview what your enemies and allies will do on their next turn. Use these previews to plan your turn. Your allies all act before your enemies. Okay. Your allies all act before your enemies. Some cards apply conditions that are represented by icons above your health bar. Inspect a condition icon to learn about its effects. All right, so where do I see exactly what she's gonna do? I don't see it. All right, we have three mana. We improvise a card from a pool of special cards. Yes, random cards. Go, I choose you. Oh wait, this one first. No. Uh, apply two bleed. Draw two cards. Apply two bleed. Impair. Attack damage by this third reduced by 33%. Alright. Go. Oh now I can see what she will do. Uh this is useless. End turn. You have playable cards remaining. No zero mana cards. Yes. Don't show me this again. Stabby stab. Two to five. Oh, I love the RNG. Insert hammer grip or saber grip into your hand. Uh, what is this? All right, how much health? Okay, we'll do this one. Boom. Deal two bonus if you have any combo gain card. I don't have it. Blade. Stabby stab. Uh, elbow strike. All right, now what? Order. What? My order is fine. I can't see what she's doing. Is she defending? Is she... How am I supposed to know what the fuck she's gonna do? Improvise a card from a pool of special cards. Pretty special. Gain one power. E no. No. This one. Stab. Stab. Slip it off. Okay, fight dirty. Improvise a card from a pool of special cards. Uh, insert hammer grip. Still can't see what she's doing. Draw last. Draw first. Pog. Okay. I'm doing this one. Go. Uh. I'm doing this. In Paris. Sandner vagina. Still can't see her attack. Above your head? No, that's my attack, is it not? Accept surrender. Kill, execute. Kills target. Surrender enemy. No, we'll we'll accept your surrender. Pick a card, any card. Collect money. Wait, I get all of this? New battle card. Oh. Alright. 
Which one should I take? Uncommon. We'll take the uncommon one. Alright. Decline. Gain 10 shields again. Bro, I don't know which one I should take. I just take. She's mauled. Cause she's bald. Whoop. Concede deck. Bro, you don't know what you're talking about. Alright. I'm a card game pro. Pro card game. Alright. We have a quest. You recognize the tension when you step into the slurping snail like the Oshni mucus is coagulating in the air. You see what I'm talking about? I don't know half of these words, no point. I know I know these words, but I mean it doesn't make any sense. <sighs> a core papier. Now that's a furry. Now I said it, I don't much like the idea of repeating myself. <laughs> Maybe take a breather. That's all he. She pulls with two. Kepo papa. Keeping his distance for the time being. Yeah, you better keep your distance. Guards. He's here to visit. Am I here to visit this guy? Is that what it means? Oh yeah? Intimidate or to get info. Alright, so you have an intimidate deck and a normal fighting deck. This is like negotiating cards. At the end of your turn, in step 2, intimidated, unplayable. Okay. At the start of each turn, you draw 5 cards from the draw pile and gain 3 actions. Each card costs a certain number of actions to play. At the end of your turn, the cards in your hand are moved to your discard pile. You win a negotiation by destroying your opponent's core argument. Your resolve carries it's over between debate. negotiations. If you have no resolve left, you automatically lose any negotiations you attempt. You have no resolve left. You have no lose any negotiation. Attempt. You and your opponent can deploy arguments to help win the negotiation. Arguments have special effects and can be attacked or defended, what the fuck like is the this? core argument. Certain cards apply composure, which mitigates damage. Composure can be applied to any friendly argument and lasts for one turn. Your opponent's intents for the next turn are shown in their inner ring. Use these intents to plan your turn and protect your arguments from damage. Inspecting cards Take and arguments argument from damage. their tooltips with a description of their effects. The people you meet in the Grifflands will use different negotiation tactics, so make sure you adjust your strategy to match. Okay. Be fortunate that you like this game. I figured you could check out this other game. It's also a card game, and each player has a deck of 30 cards they assemble themselves. Me. Chat help if he's not right. There are 10 classes with different cards for each. Nice try. So it's not. 10 classes. Back in my day. Alright, what do you want? Intent will cause five resolve damage to one of your arguments. All right, how much resolve do I have? Thirty plus one is twenty-three. All right, fast talk. That's classic. <laughs> That's a classic. Uh, intimidate. At the end of your turn, in step two, intimidated, unplayable. 
deflection. Apply three composure. Reduces resolve loss for one turn. All right. And what were you gonna do? You're gonna just me with five. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and do that. Now I take only one damage. This effect is added to the opponent's argument. Why the fuck would I add something? This card is unplayable. That's what I thought. Alright, fast talk. Let me tell you something. This can go easy or this can go hard. Alert inspiration or attitude into your hand. All diplomacy cards deal maximum damage. Diplomacy? Fuck diplomacy. Fucking threaten. Improvise a card from a pool of special cards. Gossip, carry over, consideration. Deploy bait. Bait is an argument with two resolve. Dude, I am my my brain is. So You clamped down on that tongue of yours too hard and you're likely to lose it. That was your fucking negotiating skill tactic. You could have just threatened him normally with brute force, beat him up to begin with. You make a compelling argument. Shoashulka. Kilka's moved to safe house. Tokuhoa. Find the address. You rap once on the door. No one's inside on the floor. Shuapaseke? Convince her to come along peacefully. The frogs don't like me. Attack her. Alright. you. Target two random enemies piercing. You destroy after use. Improvise from cool cards. Alright. 
If I can apply two wounds. I don't know what the fuck she will do next turn. I'm guessing she'll attack me. Go. Above her head? I don't see anything above her fucking head, man. I'm blind, apparently. Improvise a card. Okay, insert hammer grade. It's hammer time. Okay, uh, I will. Oh, this one. About my head. Alright. Can opener. Uh. And now what? She will do some kind of. Fuck it. Stop. Stop. Defense. She heals. 10 damage. Are you insane in the membrane? Deal 2 bonus damage. Any combo? I have no combo. Dirty. Really good stuff. Bleed. If you don't bleed, you feed. Zigzag. Shit in my ass. Pick the worst one, I think. Alright, hammer. I'm gonna be honest, this game does a poor job at slowly introducing mechanics. Like, you get hit with a fucking wall of fucking text because you get all the status effects all at once. Like, they just throw every single thing at you right from fucking second one when you start this game. Like, it's like, it's all this shit. Like, all the fucking negotiating, plus minus status effects, and then it's fucking all the combat plus 
fucking status effects. It's just like, skip tutorial? No, it's not about skipping tutorial. It's about having to read every single status effect that you get from second one, instead of slowly introducing a new concept over time. It just, it just like hits you like a brick wall with all this. Uh, I, I, uh, 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 it's not my cup of tea, man. It's not my cup of tea. Slay the Spire did it way better. I'm gonna be honest. Slay the Spire did it way 